Imagine a marriage with both spouses surviving drug addiction. They told us only 1% make it, and by the grace of God, we have. I'm Steve Ray, and I know redemption. I'm Melissa Ray, and I know hope. I grew up in a dysfunctional family. My dad was a raging alcoholic, and he abused my mom. They divorced when I was in sixth grade. I started drinking, I even started doing cocaine in ninth, tenth grade. And I quit high school and I got married at 17 in Vegas. And that lasted three months. By the time I was 16 years old, I was a licensed AMA professional motocross racer. And it's a very technical sport. One little mishap here, one little turn there can put you in, in grave danger. It's a roller coaster ride and it is a parallel to my life. I started running around with different people. Even into the marijuana, I noticed that it really started changing the person that I wanted to become. In 2001, the cycle of drinking and marriage continued for Melissa. I met my second husband when I was 21 in a bar, drinking, got married. I had my beautiful son. We just kept drinking throughout our whole marriage. Mine escalated. I couldn't stop in the end, and it ended in a divorce after 14 years. My first murder relationship, it was adulterous. She was married. She divorced her husband. We ended up together. Um, I knew from day one it was doomed. Within a year of marriage, we were divorced. The end of my second marriage, our divorce and everything, it about killed me. And I obviously didn't cope with it well. My pain was so deep, deep, deep. I was drinking. I met a guy that said, hey, you want to do some meth? and I tried it, and I was hooked. After my second marriage, I ended up with another girl, and there was constant infidelities on her side. Everything just started snowballing out of control, started with pain pills. The addiction became worse. Within four months, I was a full-blown heroin addict. I was in and out of jail, ended up living under a bridge wherever I could land. It was such a cold, dark time in my life. I'd lost all hope. And then I met Steve in 2007, I found somebody stronger than I was. It was on the 4th of July. Her boyfriend's brother asked me if I wanted to go party. So we showed up and out walked to Melissa. And I just was in awe of how beautiful she was. And we were both shooting up. I felt like I lost my son because he didn't want to talk to me. There was nothing left to live for. And so I just medicated. And that makes you not care at all. I was so high out of my mind, I didn't know what to do. So I ended up in jail in that cell by myself. I realized I wanted to give myself to God. I fell to my knees and I asked God's forgiveness. God put a picture into my heart of what my life was going to turn into with Melissa. We got married and we had Stevie. Um, he told me about the vision that God gave him. With Steve now out of jail and growing in his newfound faith, both he and Melissa confronted their addictions. I hit my rock bottom. And I begged God to please, please take this addiction from me. And he did. The next morning, I had no craving, nothing ever since. And it's been almost six years. So God is amazing. It was a beautiful sunny day. And I followed my dog out all the way across into a cemetery. I ended up at the statue of Jesus, fell to my knees, cried and prayed and begged God to change my life. Please take this addiction away. Everything started coming together. I put addiction behind me and I was, I was moving on. I thank him every day for everything he has done for us because that's a miracle, two addicts getting clean and sober together and staying together. After 30 years of addiction, I thought there was no hope for me at all. Everything that I have to this day, I owe to God because I could not stay clean and sober two days without God's help. Not until I went through all the things that I went through and God entered my life did I ever really understand or know what love really even meant. God is my everything. He saved me from the pit of hell. God has made me into a new person. He's a father I never had, and I can trust him. I finally realized that somebody loves me, and it's him, our father in heaven.
I can do anything with him by my side.